While these protocols all achieve file sharing, be sure to know their differences. Network file system, server message block, and common internet file system are all file sharing protocols designed to allow client systems to access files over a computer network, most commonly with network attached storage systems. NFS is typically used for Linux and Unix systems, while SMB and CIFS are mostly used in Windows environments. To read more about other types of storage network protocols, click the link above or in the description below. NFS is a protocol used to access files on remote servers and share them with others. Historically, NFS was stateless, but statefulness was introduced in version 4. NFS enables multiple users to access files on a remote server to be shared as local storage. NFS uses TCP IP or the User Datagram Protocol and is often used to deploy mission-critical applications such as Oracle databases and virtual machines. CIFS, one of the early dialects of SMB, is a stateful sharing protocol used mostly with direct hosting and NetBIOS transports such as NetBIOS over TCP IP. CIFS and SMB also initially focused on shared file, print, and applications in small local area networks and are generally less scalable than NFS. CIFS and SMB are often used interchangeably, which can be misleading. CIFS is considered a chatty, buggy protocol, so it's rarely used in modern storage systems today. Experts now recommend using SMB versions 3.0 or later, which are far more secure and provide much better efficiency and performance in wide area networks and LANs. Newer versions of SMB also added features like end-to-end -end encryption, cluster dialect fencing, and other features. While both SMB and NFS provide file sharing capabilities, there are benefits and drawbacks to each protocol. Generally speaking, experts agree that NFS will continue to be used more for Linux-based environments, while SMB will be used for Windows. However, newer versions of NFS and SMB are becoming increasingly similar to each other. Which storage protocol does your organization use and why? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe too.